<laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chuck Diesel, aka the Long Wolf, tapping in once again with another episode of Sake Sundays. Oh, special shout out to our sponsor, Sake High. You know for providing the sake. Another shout out to our other sponsor, God's Favorite Jewels, for providing you know these lovely bracelets I'm wearing, and also providing this here is some lapis. Oh. For our host, oh. our guest. Thank you, you're for welcome, our host. You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, Period. if you want, you could interview me instead. No, just kidding. Okay. I didn't come prepared with any questions, but you know that might that might. No. I was about to say what. You're fast. That's the fastest I've ever seen somebody put one of those on. I'm a girl. We have to do this. I've seen girls struggle. Well, <laughs> <He's in there. laughs> this uh, is so cute. Shout out to God's favorite jewels. God's favorite jewels. Shout out to y'all, man. This is cute. I'm glad you. Yeah, like yeah, it. I love this. Like, you can keep it. Yeah, this is yours. Like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just hey, let me get that back before you go. No. <laughs> If you want one, go to the website and buy it. Like, like now you showed everybody you got one, so like you should really go buy one. Yeah, right. Silly, no, that's yours. <laughs> Thank you. But now that we got that established, tell everybody who you are. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariah Soleil. Can you put my name on the bottom? Like, because Soleil is spelled S A L A E. I got you. It'll be you on, in the title for sure. Okay. Yeah. And okay, I make music. I do acting. Um, I do a little bit of modeling. Yeah, I do a little bit of modeling, um, writing, directing. Yeah, right. artist. I didn't know you were when you were a director. Yeah. What have you directed? Little short films. Not my YouTube. Yeah, let me say something. Okay. After this, I want to watch one. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that you were that involved in acting in like the film world. Yeah, I was doing acting before I did music. I like stopped doing music. I mean, stopped doing acting to do music. Why? Because it's so freaking hard to focus on both, y'all. It's like so hard <laughs> to do both. Like, both of them require your all. No, it's a lot of attention put into it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You did tell me this is how we were starting this off. We pre gamed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, when did you start acting? Um. I started acting in. Trying to figure out which one. Yeah, figure out which one first, so the cups aren't in front of your face. <laughs> mm, listen, I started acting. I did like I did theater in high school. I was like a theater kid. Mm -hmm. So like up until college, that was my major. Yeah, then I started doing camera acting. Then I stopped doing it, and then now I'm getting back into it. And I actually got casted for this TV series. Um, sorry, I have like asthma, so I'm like, <laughs> hold on, let me catch my breath, yeah. yeah. That's funny, because I'm talking faster than I can actually breathe. Oh, yeah. oh, give me a second. I'm here for you, I'm here to okay. listen. Dang, I don't know why I get like nervous when the camera turns on, like right now. Like, no, not nervous, nervous, but like I feel like awkward. I don't like, you, gotta, you don't gotta perform for it, it's just like, pretend it's not here. Okay. Okay. Talking, oh yeah, yeah. I'm just talking to you. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much the TV series is called Island of the Misfits. Um, is it a series? Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. what you were at the table for the other night? Yeah. Yeah. That's Let's dope. Name. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. His name's Deontay. He created it, wrote it, and directed it. And Big Mike. You know Big Mike? Yeah. He's in it too. For real? Yeah. Yeah. It's super cool. Um. But yeah, we start filming in March. Oh yeah, we start filming in March. <laughs> And I'm very excited. That's dope. That's dope. I don't want to ask too many, you know, specific questions since it's not out yet. But do you like your character? Do you feel like it's relatable to you? 100%, dude. Like, literally, it's about, like, artists, like, music artists, or all artists, like, dancers, actors. Does the show have all different yeah. artists? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, pretty much, like, the struggle or, like, what we go through, like, emotionally. And then... Yeah. There's a turmoil of trying to... Be, Prove that you are worthy of being literally. acknowledged as what you do. Literally. Like, sorry, Bar, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But people will be like, oh, want to be rapper or oh, want to be good. actor. It's okay. like, no, I'm actually acting like, in yeah. a project. Yeah. I'm an actor. I'm just not mainstream I'm, yeah. or big level. Like, you feel literally. me? It's like, but the only separation between is the notoriety 
and sometimes the pay. Because sometimes names don't even get paid for projects Literally. the way that you think they are getting paid. Mm -hmm. It's just that you know who they are for what they do. Yeah. So you consider them an actor or a rapper or a, even just an artist when it comes mm -hmm. to like painters and sculptors. Yeah. It's like, you're yeah. not an artist. Oh, are you an established artist? And it's like, yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I can't, I can't draw, I can't fucking paint, I can't dance, I can't act. You know what I mean? It's like, who decides that it's actually my career or my title like my job yeah when i reach the level that you say or that if you're like yeah literally it's like the level that they think and like the money that they they're i'm sure they don't even make that much money the fuck <laughs> they probably mean part-time pay why are you even and, talking no nah, sometimes you're right that's part of what it comes <laughs> from is like they hear you say that you're this or you're that and they're like I don't even, you feel like, me? He's like, all, let me bring you down and put you back on reality. It was like... Yeah, um, first of all, you... No. First of all, you're <laughs> making 15 an hour. <laughs> why are you talking to me? <laughs> like, why are you talking to me about my pay? I'm sure it's the same. <laughs> no. Sometimes people just don't... Don't like to feel as if they're not doing enough or as good as they could be. Yeah. And if you tell them that you are... You know something that they think of in that mm -hmm. like the highlight. Like if they're thinking of the actor, the artist, the dancer, the model, and they think of the person who's on the magazine or the TV screen, they're already thinking disillusioned. You feel me? Yeah. Because that's a level of excess and accomplishment that has to go with the title if you're going to wear it proudly yeah. in their mind. And so when you say that, they're now expecting that of you. Yeah. That's their expectation. Yeah. And sometimes it's oh, if you do profess yourself as that thing that means you think i'm a rapper and yeah. i'm a rapper i'm not an aspiring rapper i'm you feel me oh you mm -hmm. think you lil wayne you think you could yeah. be lil wayne <laughs> yeah fuck out of here you feel me mm -hmm. why do you have so much confidence in yourself now they're mad at you just because oh, you like yourself you like, bro, just cause I think I could like, do everything i said i'm doing right why are you mad they're freaking haters they probably had a dream once and then <laughs> Somebody, it didn't work. Sorry. somebody put it out. Yeah, somebody mm. put it out. Probably their parents. It's all right. You got a hug for them. You want to send a hug? So, uh, hugs, yeah, hugs virtual hugs everybody. for all the haters out there. <laughs> for all the haters, like wherever it originated from. Sorry, sorry. Your parents weren't there. Sorry, your parents weren't there to like. <laughs> silly. Uh, speaking of parents, how are your parents when it comes to like your your crafts? <laughs> were they hands on? Did they get you to dance or sing or act in anything like? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, so my mom, she used to, like, do music, mm -hmm. so I feel like she is, like, like, whenever I make a song, I send it to her first mm -hmm. to see if it's, like, done, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then she'll give me, like, she'll tell me what needs to be done, and I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? No, so, yeah. like, you know my friend? My friend, he called me a little wheezy, please, squeakers. Wait, you know, you know, you know, you know the guy on um, on fucking Toy Story. Yeah. The like the scooter. <laughs> She's fucked up. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So my mom, um, she used to do music and like, yeah, I feel like we bond through music. Yeah. Um, my dad, I don't know. He he supports me. He like supports my music and stuff. He doesn't really know that much about music, but he does support me. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about acting? Um. Yeah, same thing. They just kind of just let me do my thing. Have you had shows where they came to them and they're like, oh. We loved your role. Uh, like in theater, yeah. yeah. Oh, and actually when I um I had a premiere for the feature film that I was in last year, my dad and my grandmas came. That's so, dope. Yeah, it was fun. It was, at like a, it was at the PCL Theater in Hollywood. Chinese Theater. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. Congratulations. Yeah. That's fire. Cool. You see, it's stuff like this that I usually wait to take shots for. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I hey, we can do it right now. We can do it right now. Uh, we already two, two, three in. Like, so what? Uh, silly. But um, with that film, like, what was it like? Was it your first big like uh, premiere? Yeah, definitely. Like that was my first time seeing myself on like a like a movie screen. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was pretty cool. It was like surreal. Like, oh snap, that's me. Yeah, and you know what's funny? I literally made myself cry. No, watching wait, in the movie. Oh, I was gonna say in the movie or when you're watching. Well, I was crying in the movie, but like watching oh, myself, I was like, it? yeah. You're like, I was I was like, yeah. I was like, I got teary eyed. I'm like, I'm a good ass actress, but yes, I'm a good ass. 
I said, I made myself cry. Oh. <laughs> that, I understand. That's funny. The sad thing is, is uh, I've never gotten to watch any of my performances that were like emotional like that back. Wait, are you an actor? Yeah. I'm sorry. Have <laughs> oh, shit, cheers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm sorry, Chuck. I didn't know that. I mean, we met each other at performances, and I had a camera in my hand every single time. You probably didn't know I was a rapper the first two times you saw me. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> right. No need to apologize. You feel me? I'll be, mean, you know, low key. Okay. Low key. Oh. Yeah. And we maneuver like look. What do you like acting in? Uh something that's been like shown. Oh, actually, the last <laughs> thing that anybody can see, I ain't say nothing. Abbott Kenny or Abbott Elementary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was in that not that long ago. But um let me see. Last year I was in a film that was on BET, Deadly Entanglement. Okay. I ain't saying nothing, but my aunt posted it on Facebook because she saw it on BET. Yeah, that's so, so cool. Before I moved to LA, the like dopest thing I was on was actually a play. We toured Washington, going yes, to different high schools play? and middle schools. Were yeah, you kids? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I guess technically, yes. I was in theater in high school, but I was in everything else as well. I was, a- <laughs> 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 I was an everything kid. I played football. I was in the drama club. I was in the AV audio fucking club. <laughs> like, so cool. I was on the speech and debate team. I ran track. Like, that's and everybody crazy. knew I was a rapper as well. Yeah. So I was like, I did everything. That's yeah. so, I, that's how I was in high school too. But I didn't. I wasn't doing music yet though. I was just doing like like I did wrestling. You wrestled? Yeah, I did wrestling. No, that's <laughs> the one thing I quit. <laughs> I quit. I did okay. I did it really late though. I did because I, I was doing softball first. Yeah. So I was already in theater, and then I did like choir and like, and I was on the dance team. Well, um, you was a busy body too. Yeah, man. See, look at all, all everyone that's running for I'm in, I want homecoming queen because of this, right? Everyone that's in high school right now, join like all the clubs, get <laughs> all the friends from like every Everybody club. Everybody will like you. <laughs> you literally you make so many friends in doing everything, then you went homecoming queen. Okay. Right. Bro, what? It's like crazy. Oh, I miss high school. Shout yeah. out to everybody that was a twenty twenty kid. What's my heart the... goes out to you because I my graduation year was twenty twenty and I didn't even get the last of my year. Two. I want to go to prom so bad. When I get you rich never had to go to prom? No, school ended, dude. I'm sorry. <sighs> It's okay. I want to go to prom so bad. No, you just have adult prom. When I yeah, when I get rich and famous, I'm having a prom. So you gonna throw like a big ass ball? Yeah, I'm gonna have a prom for real. Like, why you gotta be rich and famous to do it? Um. Okay. When I'm rich, why you gotta be rich to do it? So I can have money. So if I can throw like some How nice crazy stuff. How crazy you want it to be? Um, crazy. 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 Because You're I didn't about have a, like swans, ice like, officers. Yeah. Shooting out champagne. Yes. You, me? I, you walk up and I, grab a glass. Yep, you there's going to be catered. champagne coming out of the ice sculpture. Yeah. Yes. Like right. that exactly. But, and yeah. like it's going to be like, Chandelier. there's going to be about three, four chandeliers when you walk in. When you walk in. Yeah, and then there's going to be more, obviously. What? Like about to be a big ass dance floor? Like, <laughs> yeah. Dance hall. Like a ball. All right. The question is who are you inviting? Hmm, I don't know if you're going to make the list, Chuck. I ain't even asked all that. I ain't pressed. I'll throw my own damn butt. <laughs> we can compete. Look. All right, yeah. You know who does the best uh, Who has shit. the best ball? Okay, let's yeah, go. we'll see. Mm, let's see. I already have my picture in my head. No, you don't. We picture yes, it right I do. now. No, I have a picture All you in have is a chandelier's picture. No. Who no, <laughs> <laughs> said the swan with you the ice sculpture? Right, my idea. <laughs> Sets you up already. You lucky that I already look. I, I, mm, you right. Mum's the word. Nope. No, nah, take I'm gonna it. Have, I'm take have a staircase it. from the staircases that go up like that. Thank oh, you. and that divides. Okay, cool. What's gonna be on it? Anybody <laughs> have a staircase? Shut up, Chuck. I had a staircase. I'm a line it with goodie bags. Okay, well, I'm have two lines. <laughs> I'm have two line sculptures outside of it, and there's gonna be a pool in the front and the back. I'm good for well, it's gonna be like a fountain. We got you. It's cousins. gonna be a fountain. <laughs> Get him before I do. <laughs> Get him before I do. She's mad that she didn't know I was a good party player as well. No, no. 
Oh, if you anyway, want, you can take back what you anyway, said, and we can throw anyway, this together. You can come. You can come. Try it. Whatever. You can come to the you can oh. come to the prom. Yeah. So I don't know who I'm inviting. Um. Um. I want to invite. I want to invite Rihanna. Rihanna. Is that one of your favorite artists? Oh, and um, y'all don't hate me. Don't you? Why would they hate you? Oh my god, because it's like so like controversial right now. I feel like everybody thinks she's like crazy and like demonic type, but like no. So what? You scared? You said I'm not scared. Chat, if you fuck with her, you fuck with her. I love Dutch Cat. And Don't be pushed. Dutch Cat. No, just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you you mad pussy, bro? <laughs> bro, you mad pussy? I'm done. Okay, we need another one. Oh. Um. But no, those two of your biggest like influences are just your favorite artists. No, I just think Dutch Cat's like so hot. This she's hot. That's why you like her. Um, but I also like love her music. I love Dutch. Who else? Honestly, I would invite Ice Spice. I think she'd be really fun. I and don't know. No. I'm not saying no. I'm saying I don't know. It should be for, like fun. the extent of her. So pretty much, we're talking about what inspires us for music. And I feel like I can't write a song unless I'm, like, inspired. Because when I'm inspired, I write the song, like, like in 30 minutes. Like, the whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, it turns out really good. What are it's some just, songs? Like, you said you get inspired by things that just happen in life. <laughs> but what are some life experiences that happen and then the songs that came from them? So, um, oh, okay. So, my song, Mosh Pit, right? Yeah, what inspired that? All right, so I went to Rolling Loud with my best friend, right? And we were at um, Ski Master Slump God at his foot. <laughs> Ski Master's Hall. Yes, we were at Ski Master's, um, Ski Master's like, uh, performance, like his stage. <laughs> I don't know, like we're at his stage, the stage that he's performing his stage, at. Yeah. Uh, and like, bro, I was like literally starting the mashers, bro. That shit was like really yeah, Rolling fun. Loud? Yeah. The same way you started the claps. <laughs> yeah, we started. I'm telling you. I'm shit, y'all. Like, <laughs> you just said, I'm a pretty girl, but I'm here in a mosh pit. Yeah, so, like, pretty much, pretty much, like, um, I got my friend to, like, like do, like, the mosh too, but I pretty girl mosh. I don't sock people. I was people literally just people. about to ask, like, when no. you throwing bows in no. the... <laughs> no. so I was, like, I was, like, doing it right. I was, like, okay, this is fun until, like, the big niggas got in because they're disrespectful. I'm, like, a little girl. I'm, like, a, like, I'm, like, not big. I'm petite. Like, don't push me around. So, if you know what I mean? So, like, when they came in, I was, I was still there, but I was sitting on the outside, and when they came near me, I was just pushing everybody. No, wow, that was so fun. Yeah, there's people like you I don't like. <laughs> Sorry. I it's was just because everybody. it's like, <laughs> I'll push you in, but I'm not getting in that shit. I'll be like, nigga, <laughs> don't, no. no, bro, don't stand on the outside and throw me <laughs> in. Turn <laughs> boy, bro. I wasn't throwing the freaking bystanders in. I was like, the people that were already like running, like jumping around when they came near me, I just pushed them. Mm-hmm, so you yeah. say. I did. I did. I did. Nah. But, but Sometimes anyway. you get a little, not you, but the people who do that, they get a little too lit. They think everybody who's a moving yeah, around it is trying to get in. It's like, bro, I'm stepping away and backing up. They just see you turn. Like, oh. <laughs> You're like, what? Like, no, you have to jump, no. You have to jump around to like get through it. Like, uh, I've been caught up in some moshes. That's why I'm yeah. saying this. Is like, I wasn't trying to mosh. That's period. Like, that's like... I didn't know. Like, I was at an MGK show one time, uh-huh. and this nigga just started climbing the bleachers. That's like, crazy. not the bleachers, the stage. Yeah, he started climbing the stage, and then he got to the top, and a new song started. And he, I don't even know what was happening because at first like I was just looking. Yeah, and then people, you feel me, just start. <laughs> And then he's like, Jesus, shut that shit. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm like, what was that? Yeah. Oh, what was yeah. that? I turned around. The niggas I came with had already. <laughs> they knew what was about to happen. Yeah. I was like, nigga. Now, now I'm in the you tell me, bro. <laughs> I, I messed up survive. my shoes. Trying to survive. Like, like that's this. straight survival. Like, literally. Mm-hmm. I was that like, is never so... again. And then yeah. I got a cousin and a best friend, or his best friend. Mm-hmm. They like to mosh. And so anytime we would go to shows together, it don't matter who the fuck it was, they would try to start it. That's so funny. Wait, they need to come to one of my shows. That's They're really in Ohio. Funny. This nigga would oh, definitely fuck with some shit, though. Dude, that's sick. No, okay, so so pretty much uh, after after Rolling Loud, this, okay, back to... Yeah. 
Yeah. So after all the lunch, my best friend, he was like, he was, I was like, that was fun, right? He was like, bitch, you were starting the mosh pits. I was like, yeah. I'm a pretty bitch and I still be in the mosh pits. And then I went home and I made the song. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is one of the best ways to make music. <laughs> Literally, dude. You say some shit and then just say goodbye. Like, like, that's hard. I'm gonna make a song from that. And then I made it. <laughs> no. Well, my first single, that's how I made it. I was yeah. talking shit to somebody and I was like, <laughs> You're like, that's a fucking bar. I'm about to write a song for you, nigga. <laughs> I played it and he was like, That's fire. <laughs> You bet. And I was literally talking shit. Like, I, I said the line, and he was like, and I was like, that's the song. That's the song. Right. It was like, fuck it, yo, like, bitch. Yeah, it's like flicking my wrist, nigga. <laughs> Easy. And he was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that's a bar, bro. I'm about to write a song about that. Nigga. Made the song. People be running up to me like, Easy? Sleazy? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your That's favorite song that you wrote today? Huh? Your favorite song that you've written today? Um, I like yeah, that. I, so. I like all of them. I like all my. Dad, don't you like favorite, all your songs? Favorite. So uh, yes, I do. I'll say there's one song, the first song that I performed at the uh, mm-hmm. AA. Yeah. And the other night, my problems. Mm-hmm. I really like that song. At, at um, Collins? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because it's the first, one of the first, it's the first one I put out. Okay. Like that. You feel me? Yeah. Like melodic, sing song. Uh-huh. So it's like one of my favorite songs that I've written because I like the writing. So that's what I mean. Like, that's what. I feel like, mm, I feel like, I'm, I feel like most, most of my songs have like a meaning behind it that's like personal to me. Yeah. So I feel like. <clears throat> Okay, my, my, fuck, I don't know, dude. I actually don't know. I really like all my fucking songs. She said, everyone's my favorite and I, I stand on that ten like toes it. down. I like, I like, if you like it, I like, so I like, okay, I like Mosh Pit. Everybody likes Mosh Pit, but, like, I'm low-key getting tired of it. I'm tired of it. Is this because you've heard it so much? Yeah, it's because when I go to these, like, performances and stuff, they're like, oh, you're the Mosh Pit girl, right? So is it tired of it because that's what people are recognizing you as or tired of it because you're tired of the song? Yeah. Which one? I don't know. Both? Yeah. I don't know. Because, like, I don't know. Okay, because, all right. I don't know. I just feel like, okay, look it. This is one thing. So, in the TV series that I'm in, okay, I feel like one thing that, like, um, in the show and talks about, like, literally, like, little things that artists go through. Like, I feel like for me, Everyone's like, oh, you're the mosh pit girl. But then it's like, damn, I have other songs, too. And no, I'm like, yeah. okay, I need to make a song that, like, kind of lives... That lives up to mosh pit, but, like... Takes over. people, like... Well, like, that song. You know like, I mean? that one over that yeah. one? No, yeah. Because, like, I feel like that's what, like, One Hit Wonders are. You know, they, like, have one song that people just, like, know them by. Remember them before? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, fuck, I need to make a song that's, like, as good as mosh pit. You know? That's it. Oh, did you stop? No, I didn't, <laughs> but I'm... Yeah, yeah, period. But no, nah, I, I feel you. Actually, the same song I was just talking about, yeah. that's how it was for me. Yeah. Because like I said, I made the song. Like, I'm going to go make a song for you. You feel me? Yeah. It wasn't because I was like, oh, this is... No, I was yeah. talking shit. I thought it was hard. Yeah. And I'm going to make a song and you'll like it. Yeah. And everybody I knew liked it. Yeah. But it wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. And so I started trying to recreate that song. And then everybody... Even to this day, mm-hmm. people will be like, yo, I listen to your Spotify or I listen to your Apple Music because yeah. it was one of my most played. It's still one of my most played. Yeah. So still one of the songs that everybody hears first. Yeah. And they're telling me I like that. And yeah. so for a while, I was like, dang. It's like, fuck, I have other songs by me. Like... In the last year or so, I said, you know what? Everybody loves this song. I'm going to give it to them. I, don't, I couldn't care less about hearing it anymore. Yeah. But I realized I could still have fun with it because I had fun with it then. So yeah. it's like when I performed it, I performed it the other night. Yeah. yeah Everybody like, likes that song. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that song no more, bro. What? Like, I like the song because of the vibe. It's a cool vibe yeah. to sit with Mosh Pit. The vibe yeah, is the always vibe cool. Is, the vibe is, the cool. is always vibe like, But I'm not in that vibe no more. <laughs> okay, literally, literally, literally. That's how I feel when I go back. When I go back and forth to doing like R and B type and then like that shit, rock star shit, you know, what I mean? <laughs> nah, it's, like, it fucks you yeah. up. I oh, yeah. It's crazy because I have like this certain amount of people that like are like the R and B Mariah. They're like, oh my gosh, she makes so- more songs like they want like, the vibe. Yeah, because I have a, I have a song called For Forever and like it's like really cute and like it's just little like little R and B song, right? 
everyone's like, oh my gosh, you should make more songs like that. Or even my song that I'm dropping on Valentine's Day, everyone like loves it. And then there's like half other people that like like watch it you. or like like my song Run That Bag Up. Yo, that song is fucking fire. Listen to Run That Bag Up, yo. That song's fucking I can't stop listening to it. I don't know why. Right now, like, I'm obsessed with that song right now. That song is fucking hard as fuck. Imagine it's hard as fuck. Like, the way everyone should feel about their crap. Yeah, that song is hard as fuck. It's not that I posted, um... I don't know if you saw it. On your story? Um, yeah. And I posted it on my Instagram, like, like two days ago, at my performance. You should have gained on that performance, dude. Fuck, this was... Wait, can I show you right now? This song is so fucking hard, and shout out to DJ, DJ Kime, because I don't know. He's DJing tonight. Yeah, oh, for sure. You, oh, yeah. Dude, I love him. Like, literally, every time I perform, like, at AIA, and, like, he's a DJ, like, the set is just hard as fuck, because I don't know what he does to the beat. He just makes it fucking hard. Like, when I performed Mosh Pit, like, he cut out the beat on the certain part. I was like, oh, this shit is hard as fuck. Like, I don't know. It was, he's good. No. But, okay, I was, like, listening to the song over and over again, right? It does not sound like this. With the high-pitch part? Like, how I mean, do that's you what a good that? DJ is there for. A real oh DJ God, is not just playing music. Well. He's, yeah. you feel me? He's adding to it. He's creating the vibe. Yeah, you can take a song that people know, and you give it to him in a whole different way. A whole different way. And that shit was hard as fuck. Like, that video literally is hitting harder than Apple Music right now. But <laughs> that shit is so good. That was... Yeah, that's like, I love that song right now. I'm, like, obsessed with that song right now. And you know what's funny? So that's your favorite song from you. Right now, right now. Because for a while, yeah. I didn't promote it, like, at all. I didn't promote it at How all. How long has it been out? Um, like, like, October. All right. And I have just not been promoting it. Because I feel like that song is, like... If you listen to the lyrics, I feel like it's, like, not... It's not me. Then so why'd you make it? But it's my alter ego. <laughs> now I gotta listen to it to understand you feel me more I haven't heard the actual song but She's, yeah, it's did like, you make it because you wanted to write it or what like what brought you to having that song I don't know <coughs> I don't know I just wrote it it was just like it was just really fun yeah I just wrote it that one I wasn't inspired by anything I just wrote that one that one I just wrote that I actually wasn't inspired Literally, oh. like, in the, in the beginning of it, so it's, like, like, I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm not gonna show you the whole song. I'm just gonna show you the, the section of it that I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I've heard this actually. I've heard you perform this. Before. I didn't hear you perform this. Before. Dude, this is hard as fuck. That's your favorite right now, and it was written for other people in your alter ego, <laughs> not even about you. Yeah, that was yeah. I like that song though. I'm releasing a song on Valentine's Day, guys. It's called Rain. It was called October October Rain, and it's really cute. It's not rock star. It's simpy, a love song. How do you feel about synth music? I love it. Fuck. I love it. I love it. I'm a synth for real. I'm a, I'm a lover girl. I'm a lover girl. I am a lover girl. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> because, like, um, I don't like being a lover girl. I like being, like, a rock star. Why can't you be both? <laughs> yeah. I just don't like performing. Like, I hate I hate performing R&B. I hate Why? it. Why? Because it's, like, it. so chill. Yeah, it's like, what do I do? Just stand there and sing? I no, I want to turn up and, like, jump around and, like, dance. You know what I mean? That's, like, what I want to do when I'm on stage. I'd rather do that. Like, it's just so much more fun. Like, I don't want to just, like, it. chill and sing. That's not me. That's not Mariah. Hey, I don't know if I told you, but I, I was like, bro, I told the DJ I didn't want to do that first song. He was like, I like it. You should do it. <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. Yeah, it's like, bro, I'm not... I don't want to... Yeah, know. right? It's just like, and especially if the song is like vulnerable or like really like emotional to you. I feel like, like it's easier yeah. when people are giving you feedback or mm -hmm. singing back with you for chill yeah. shit. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And with hype shit, they don't have to be as like in the know with what you're doing and what you're saying for yeah. them to just be like, this is kind of hard. Yeah. But, but like, when you really, you know, slow it down. Then they have know, to, like, pay attention listen, to the and, like, Yeah, before they can even decide, like, are they rocking with you? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And I guess that's the vulnerability side of it, because they have to actually see what you're saying. 
It yeah. isn't like that. That's true. Yeah. That's facts, actually. Like, when I performed um, October Rain on my last performance, mm-hmm. like, I feel like I was really, like, emotionally in the moment, like, acting it out. You know what I mean? I was, like, I was just, like, I don't know, like, okay, like, yeah. I just want to sing on that bag up right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I was literally contemplating. I was, like, I don't know if I want to do this one. Like, I literally just want to turn up. But, I, but my friend was, like, okay, just do it because you're releasing it next week. Yeah. I'm, like, like, that's true. And everyone liked it. A lot of people, like, loved it. Like, when, after my show was over, people came up to me and said, like, drawing that bag up. But then a lot of people came up to me and they are like, oh, I like, I like the first song. I mean, and that's part of what it is about, though, is, like, seeing how people react. So then yeah. you can know how to build your set. Yeah. Valentine's Day is my favorite. Okay, Valentine's Day and Halloween are my favorite holidays. Why Halloween? How do those go to right. I, I love Halloween. Halloween. I love Halloween. Yeah, Halloween you, is, like, so candy. candy. That's what it is. No, I like creepy stuff. But well, you should see my short films. I only make creepy short films. For real? Yeah, like like my I love it. I don't know. Like my my music video, my music video is gonna be creepy. To a love song, I don't care. I'm a big like, fan of creepy stuff. I love creepy. What type of creepy? Like things that make you just like uncomfortable. All right. So when you say creepy, my first mindset is like scary, and oh, yeah, I don't scary not too. like scary. I don't like demonic scary shit. I know, bro. You feel like, me? The like creepy shit like that. Like yeah. this witch was outside looking at a nigga at four o'clock in the morning and disappeared, and now he's having hallucinations and shit. You feel me? But- That's the shit I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Like when I tell people that I like scary movies and stuff, they're like, "Oh yeah, me too." But I don't like 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 it's different when you like like scream or something. Right. Scream is cool. Or the paranormal or like paranormal. I even watch paranormal no, activity. activity. But like the exorcist but and shit. Like, I'm like, come on, bro. Like I don't know. I'm like, not trying to watch that in my bedroom, bro. Like, like I don't want to sleep in here tonight. <laughs> like not even. It's like, I gotta go to sleep in here yeah, tonight and like tomorrow. By yourself, like like I can scream by myself. I'll, like those and people those are dying. Are you feel me? People are just getting killed. It's like a human. It's like a human. You feel me? No. Probably. But if it's like it's like damn, like yeah. like hexes, demons, uh, curses, but warlocks. Then again, like... But then again, but then again, all right. Which one would you be more scared of? If a if a if a demon came in your room, to, like broke into your house, or a human broke into your house? That's real <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Because like, all right, if it's a ghost, if a, if a ghost, if a, if if that bitch from um from the ring came out of my TV of squabbling her like literally we're fighting <laughs> type shit because like if it's a ghost if it's a ghost you can't even touch me I'm going right through you you can't touch me what are you gonna do throw a chair all right do it that way because I'm going to sleep type shit but if a human broke into my house I'm terrified and see this is I'm not gonna be terrified but this is what I was about to say is you want to talk about that realm of things you know. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I can't really say I'm that terrified because like we gonna handle this. I mean, that's a I just would rather not. not. <laughs> <laughs> but with a human, you're right. I have to. I have to, like, I, I have to do something. Like I physically scary. have to act. No, what he has on him, like some deal. I don't know if like torture me. The like, thing is like, though, scary. is with physical, I understand it. I can see you. I can actually, you feel me, make a plan. But if it's Wait, like, outside of that, I really don't know what it I is I'm fucking really with. You for but me. I don't even I don't understand it. And that's why I guess I'm still go with the first response where I trust and believe. You feel me? Faith the size of a mustard seed <laughs> does a lot. So I know we about to win. That's even if I don't know what's going like, on. God, <laughs> so with a physical person. No demons for sure. At all. <laughs> Silly. Like, I'm going out. <laughs> He's like, nah, bro. We too, too, we too tapped in. Yeah, we too, we too tapped in. Like He's like, God's favorite jewels. Thank like, you. let me say it again. <laughs> but if it was a human, he'll probably kill me. Like, he'll nah. probably kill me. Just gotta get your muscles up. I mean, shoot. Yeah, you better watch out for me, X. <laughs> like, eat your Wheaties, do your push ups. Yeah. We got some spinach <laughs> for you after this episode. Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get you your mace. Mm. Yeah, bear spray actually. Get the strap. Get the, you want to take another? <laughs> <laughs> it's only fifteen percent. He's like literally tripping. <laughs> Bro, I'm <laughs> not. Like I'm just being <laughs> precautious. For so what? So we're not driving. We're literally here. What's one topic that you hate talking about? 
Demonstrator. What are you talking about? Who needs? But like when someone starts talking about it, you like zone out. You're like, okay, I don't care. Other people. Negative uh, shit. Thanks. Dude, when it comes to like life topics, none. Okay. Just the attitude and tone towards things more so. Because I feel like everything deserves exploring and talking about. Uh-huh. And even sometimes when people are talking about certain things, I, I'd like to expand the conversation. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. it's like you could be talking about something that's multifaceted and you started on point, say there's eight things that go inside this thought. Yeah. And I walked into the conversation on three or one through three. I'm going to jump straight to number seven. You feel me? And she'd be like, I mean, yeah, bro, but this as well. So it's like, if we look at it, and so it's like, I like to talk about everything. So it's more so when you start to be like dismissive or unreceptive of shit. So, um, I'm here to build. Yeah. If it's shutting it down. But what's the topic? Not, anything. Okay. Anything. We talk about anything. Because okay. sometimes I won't even talk, but I'll listen because I like to learn or see how people feel about shit. You feel me? Because I might not even understand the topic. But I'll listen yeah. to a certain extent. And then if it starts to go negative or to a personal opinion or some <laughs> shit, I'm like, all right, bet. You're not talking edifying anymore. This is your personal opinion from a yeah. negative viewpoint. We out. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's with everything. You feel me? Yeah. Anything can be my least favorite topic to talk about, depending on the lens that the people are using to talk about it. Yeah. You know, you give off a great vibe. <laughs> Finally, yeah. <laughs> after all this time, <laughs> after after guessing every single one. Oh, you just said Virgo, like, Cancer, Sagittarius, like, <laughs> Leo. Yeah, Leo. Who the fuck you get Leo from? Jim and I. I was going based off like you said you don't like Virgos. So. Virgos and Leos not get along. I mean, I don't know. It's like Earth and air, so it's like, how compatible is that? I mean, air is on the Earth. I mean, not... Sorry, it's Earth and fire. I mean, Earth and fire. Like, how compatible is that? I don't know. I think the topic I you talking about, sometimes, honestly... Okay, see, this is where I like... I like... Okay, I consider stop doing music, because I low-key hate talking about music. Why do you hate talking... Like, what about music? Like, so period? Like, Anything about music or not, your music? Not, and, no, not, and, not, like, I don't know. Your TV just, I mean, your computer just did on. Somebody probably just sent an email. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes music just, like, stresses me out. So well, I just rather not talk about it. So, like, when people ask you about your music and stuff? I don't know. I just, like, just, like, don't want to talk about it. Like, it's, like, one time about, like, literally any other topic but music. You know what I mean? For some reason. No, not really. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. It's like, is there some people like, yo, did you hear that new song? Or like, oh, what do you okay, think about like, like, the fine. way that like, music is going? Do you think that, you feel me? Sometimes people just talk about like a genre. Yeah, I just don't want to talk about music. No? Yeah. I don't know. I do like, I like doing music, but I just like don't want to talk about it. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't know why. What made you want to make music? Um, I don't know. Like, so, like, my friends, they made music. And I was like, maybe be made a song. My friend was like, Brad, this is hard as fuck. So I was like, bro, I love this. And then I kept going. What song was it? It's a song called DNYL. It's about my ex. It's really good. Is it R&B? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I started doing R&B at first. So, yeah, it was R&B. Hmm. Then I did For Forever. And I did Mosh Pit, yeah. For Forever? Yeah, for forever is a love song. Was it about somebody? Yeah. Oh wait, don't cut this part out, right? Okay, so fucking. <laughs> so I told my ex it was about him. It was actually about another boy that I dated between like. Why can't while... you say that? That's T. Okay, so like, <laughs> we, okay, so me and my ex were in a break, right? I dated another boy, and I wrote that song about him. And I told my ex it was about him. You said you were on a break, though. So did you plan on getting back together? Honestly, no. I didn't plan on getting back together. I didn't know we were going to get back together. So I dated the other boy, and I like I thought I liked him. I was on vacation, and I was going to break up with him anyways. I just did wasn't able to see him in person. So I went on my vacation, and I met this other boy. But we didn't do anything. Like I just like held his hand and sat on his lap. 
But I'm saying consider it cheating because, like, I wouldn't want him doing that to me, like, with another girl. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do it again. But I broke up with the I broke up with the guy like right when I came back. I wanted to break up with him before, but I didn't see him. You didn't want to do it through text. No, that was messed up. Good call, though. That's fucked up. I mean, I guess so. I wasn't a person, though. You know, I wasn't a person. Sentiment. I expected. Yeah, I expect it. He said I wouldn't do that. I that. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> 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 But yeah, so my ex said it's about him. But it's not. It's actually about a different boy. You used to talk to him? My ex? No, he's blocked. But like, he got me fucked up. No, he got me fucked up. Yeah, fucked up or all the way fucked up? All the way fucked up. Like, no, he got me fucked up. Like, for real. <laughs> like, be fucking for real. Too. You asked me how I feel about love. How do you feel about love? You said it's beautiful. Love, love feels like you're falling off a mountain and you can't stop it. <laughs> you can't, you have nothing to catch yourself. Does you're just like, to? um, that's what I feel like. Or at the time that I thought, at the time I was in love, oh, the kids I was in love it was very toxic. <laughs> but, but I thought, like, I don't know, but it just felt like, like, it's just something that you can't even control. Like, you just, like, literally feel like you're, like, falling through that crazy. Or at least that's what I felt like. Like, it felt like I was, like, on the side of a mountain and I'm falling off a cliff. And there's nothing to catch me. And, like, I can't help it. But I'm falling. You know what I mean? It's been a while. Shit. A little rusty, right? <laughs> Same shit. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I felt. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't. Mean, I just, like, kept going back to him, even though he wasn't shit. I was just, like, lo- I just, like, was in love with him. Addicted? Addicted. Yeah. Those damn Aquariuses. <laughs> We were talking about earlier, you know, addictions aren't always good. Huh? I know, yeah. And I don't want to talk about him. <laughs> what else should we talk about? Um, let me see. This is what I look like without glasses on. <laughs> yeah, I was letting you come up with the next thing to talk about. <laughs> this is what I look like without glasses on. Um, if you guys think that we should take a shot, say yeah. They said yeah. Ain't nobody here. Stop that. I heard it. It's like more like conspiracy theories or something. All right, but what, what's your what's this conspiracy theory on your mind right now? I think actually that... no. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. How do you feel about Donald Trump? Oh, no, he's like old as fuck. Like, what if you... you have to measure it. There's like a certain measurement that you oh, have to true. have. Yeah, if you're a bartender, so that people don't like go home drunk. If I was a bartender, I'd be fucking people up. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be perfect in WeHo then. No. Have you been to WeHo? Once. <laughs> How did you like it? You can find yourself like a man there, like a boyfriend. There's all gay boyfriends gay. Okay. <laughs> we got jokes. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> like, I want to go to Ooh, You can find yourself a man. Hey. Hey. Can you take another one? <laughs> no, you out here with bad jokes right now. Shut up. I'll tell a funny one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what do you call a mushroom that likes to party? Guess. This is the joke. I figured it was the joke. <laughs> Okay, a fun guy. Get it? A fun guy? Fun guy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Uh, that was that, good. That's funny. It's a dad joke, but it's it's funny. Dad jokes are pretty. Uh, oh, my God. Why is money a fucking thing? Like, literally, why is money a thing? Like, literally, literally a dollar bill and a hundred dollar bill are the same piece of fucking paper? Same piece of paper. One just is one and one is a hundred. Are you At kidding the end of me? The day, that controls like our shit. Why do we listen to stops? Why do we listen to lights like on the road, bro? We li- so we let a fucking light control us. It's so we can light tell us what to do. The we fuck? All, we've all come to the fuck a group agreement that this is. First of all, I didn't grow. I didn't agree on that. I didn't agree that we should have money to control us. We should just trade, like trade, like okay, like okay, like. You give me some, like, vegetables and shit, and I'll This is the hair. only problem when and it I'm comes to trade hair. nowadays, is the fact that there are a lot of people who don't have skills to trade. They don't have products to trade. 
That's the one problem. It doesn't have to be products, bro. You give me some vegetables under your hair. That's a product, though. A vegetable? That's a product and a skill. A vegetable is a product, yes. Do you know how to grow all vegetables? I don't know how to grow celery. I don't know how to grow fruits well, it's pretty and fun stuff like that. It's self-explanatory. It's not. You just get the fucking soil and pay attention to it. Then why do you go to the store and buy it? I live in an apartment. Okay, I why don't you go? Why? 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 I can't plant anything. There's nowhere to plant anything. I'm just asking you these things to say to you. Sorry, it's not as easy. easy attitude, but like, it's just not as easy as saying, you know what? Why can't we all just trade these things? I know, because the people I know, who are supplying like, them right now aren't like, doing like, it off like, of a like, trade why? basis. They're doing it for money. So before we I can know. even start trading the shit, niggas got to go and acquire the skills of making listen, the things that they're listen. buying first. It don't have to be before go all learn how to make a nigga a pair of Jordans from hand. Chuck. We it can't go even back. It wouldn't matter if we, we had Jordans if we didn't start with money. We can't go back. I know. I know. I know we can't. But, like, why did we even start that? Like, what the fuck? Like, why can't we just, why can't we just, like, stay, stay planting stuff? Like, just living life? Like, fuck, we didn't have to go to school and all this fucking work. Like, oh, my god. Because power. When did Amazon become a fucking thing? I worked power. at Amazon two times. That shit is jail. That's a prison cell. Literally, when it was time for us to go back to work, when it was time for us to go back to work, the Wi-Fi would cut out. Life? That's like that. It wouldn't be a type of jail. School is a type of jail. Exactly. Everything's a type of jail. If you let it be. Oh, I was thinking, well, maybe maybe I should get a camera. 